Hello guys, Lasma standing here and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. It's been a fuck ton of time since I recorded the episode, almost like a year, I think it was like in May, last 31st May, the last <laughs> time I saved in this game. But we are back double time because I recorded an episode guys for you and since it's been so long since I recorded on my PC, I forgot to change some settings so there was no audio. Just my mic. So yay, that was fun. But now, I fixed it and tweaked the levels. You guys should be hearing this game pretty good. So, yeah, I know what's gonna happen, but now we're gonna have sound. It's gonna be much better. Let's jump down here. But you guys don't know what's gonna happen, do you? Get some zombies. Oh crap, hello. Ow! Did not meant. I even knew they were gonna do that, and I still... Freaking... Oh my god! Oh, no, 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 Oh, what the fuck? I haven't seen that before. Yuck. I suck y'all. Okay, he's dead. Yes. Okay, a little slightly ter more terrible this time, even though I knew what's gonna happen. Shit. But anyway, guys, to catch you up, we are at this place to restore the power. We have found all the fuses in the last episodes that I don't remember doing what happens, but <laughs> we have all the fuses. Let's use this thing because we are hurt. And we needed to power this elevator because Nikolai was up there. And if you don't know who Nikolai is, you should watch the other episodes, otherwise you will not get anything more than I do. Okay, <laughs> we get the power, power back. I don't know if we can do anything else at this place. Now that we get the power back, I never checked that before. So... I don't know if you know we can do this. Oh, we can. Interesting. I might go and have a look, guys. See if there's anything we can do. If, it, if it, there is none, I will cut back to going up the elevator here. Okay, guys, we found a shotgun shell holder. Nice, I didn't find that the last time. Sweet. Now back to the elevator. Alrighty, we're back at the elevator. Now we're a little more, little, uh, we got a little bit more damage on Jill than I did when I placed, played this the first time and didn't record the game. Uh, but it should be alright. Shit, he got away. Yeah, Nikolai got away. What is he doing in here? Who knows, Jill? But now at least I know there's a thing here for our big gun that we have over here. It's an extended barrel. This is freaking sweet. I did not mean to do that. Let's move some things around here. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Yes, we are fully charged on everything. Charged? I mean, we have fully loaded everything. Let's save the game. Let's save over 69. Nice. The thing I did just like <laughs> not long ago. Fuck. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, yeah. Press this button. Activity log. Infiltrating RC Raccoon City. Uh, disturbance are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observed five R RPD officers engaging a pack of twenty strong officers annihilated in twenty minutes. Uh, next day, twenty twelve hundred hours. Test run at university. Diver diver diverted pack. Included canines to campus. 64 infected and conversion in 2 hours. No survivors. 23rd hundred hours. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon. Will make first attempt at dawn. And is that... Yes, the next day. 4.30 night. Diverted the pack towards the command post. Result. Night skimmers in confined areas with large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skimmage, 800 hours, 7 survivors, 1800, unknown bioweapon, deployed at point D18, tracked it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt, 1200, 20, 
thousand. I don't know. Uh, got eyes on two stars. A male and infected, and a female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Well, is this yell so that we're playing? Next day, at midnight, female G A W Yell Valentine has made contact with the M V platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behaviors are constantly constant, consistent with Project N. Investigating. 400 hours uh, observed. Bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seemed to be strongly fixated on terminating Yell Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. 700, oh, 700 hours. Metaphorphis in the bioweapons triggered by a hostile encounter with Yell Valentine. Video attached. Yell Valentine has been affected and is non responsive. Collecting samples per orders. And next day. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Yale Valentine's exposure to the virus. Conversions has been slow, suggesting she might be resistant. Over 400 hours of vaccine recovered and administrated to Yale Valentine's by CO, which is Carlos, and a, a soldier in the MV platoon. Yale expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. It seems to clear the bioweapon. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact, which is a nemesis. Contact with Yellow Valentine's causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Alright guys, if you didn't know, I think, I was saying in the first time I recorded this, I think this is the guy who was, Ye uh, not Yellow Carlos, friend who we met up with, who is reporting to fucking uh, Nikolai or Umbrella, what's happening, and he's the one deploying, or is it Ni maybe Nikolai who is deploying Project Nemesis? So that's quite interesting. So it might be betrayal around here or not. Let's see your cutscene. Oh. There we have the guy. Tyrell. That might be betraying us. Through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. Unless it's just Nikolai who did They'll this. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if. We can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. Yeah, that's gonna be easy. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Yes, let's not waste, waste any more seconds until this second when I have saved the game. Okay, let's go. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I guess you guys didn't remember. Uh, there's a big ass missile coming to obliterate the town, and we are trying to stop it. And this is the place to do it because this has the vaccine, which they apparently needed to be. Yeah, to stop the attack. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. Yeah, sure you got my back. We both right. fucking hurt. <laughs> let's get this done. Even though you run faster than me. Even though you seem to be more hurt. Okay, let's go for this door. Sneaky. Nothing there. Nothing there. We're clear for the moment. I heard something. Oh, oh my goodness, oh. that thing is... That's Nemesis. It's back. And they still no. mutated. Keep going. We're almost there. Gotta go, gotta go. No. Ooh, he's no. not gonna make it. No. No. Damn it, Nemesis. You and your freaking tiny fetishes. Okay, run, dude, run! Ooh. Ooh. Now that's a fire freaking strong door. Thankfully. <laughs> we are safe for the moment guys. Holy crap. Whew. Let's go here. Oh it's raining in here. Oh it's not raining, it's disinfectant. Got some water, we got some UV lights to perfect the uh, bacteria virus killing and blow drive. Get cleaner, even though the blood doesn't seem to go away. The wound, wounds are real. Yes, a lot of zombies indeed. And this game looks sick. 
I'm still surprised how my PC can run this game so well, even though I don't have the newest spec on my PC. I mean, there is that one or two, three years old, but still impressive. All right, let's go through here. Get another zombie sling here. Don't you wake up. All right, let's go in here and do a little save job. Since this is the save station. There we go. Let's see here. Oh yes, we got some papers here. Employee regulation for Nest 2. Attention, Nest 2 employees. The objective of this T-Virus research facility differs from those umbrellas of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the needed T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Uh, some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to, uh, to workplace regularly without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors, visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It's a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge a new, uh, forge new and revolutionary technologies. All right, Nest 2 map. Oh, we got a map now. I didn't realize the first time. Okay, so we're here. Storage, sterilization room we came from. We got a mach machinery room with lots of round things. All right. Let's go and explore to the point I was before. Oh, I missed this the first time. Heck yeah. All right, let's use this right now. Ooh, yes, we're fine now. Good. Ooh, some stuff over here. Almost missed. We got some gunpowder. All right. Let's keep on going. Now, this is locked. Yes, it is. Okay, so we need to go back. We need to go back. We need to go up here. Easy now, nothing there. Big hallway and dark hallway with a zombie. Let's go in there later on. <laughs> Not right now, no zombies here. A guy down here. Alright, let's go into this green door. Just open. Very dark in here. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see well. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Yeah, we don't have any materials. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta figure this out. Yeah, that sucks. Guess we gotta make this ourselves. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, essay on vaccine synthesis by Dr. Nathan Nathan Omar, the guy we met early in the uh, campaign. <laughs> The most efficiently synthesize what? To mostly efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adju adjuvant <laughs> increases the effecti effectiveness of such response, leading to increased antibody productions. By combining samples of those two ingredients, can one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our preparatory equipment, a large batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rate of antibody productions, producing more than a thousand times the yield of traditional materials. This, is this not only makes it an efficient vaccine, but also potentially a way to eliminate existing infections. All right. Let's go back here. I think there's something here like last time I played. Oh, yes, there is. Nice. Now I can combine this with this to get more mag ammo. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Nothing can do with there. Got a computer and a dead body here, which I hope is still dead. Yes. Ooh. Handgun ammo. Needed that. Hopefully, I don't miss anything in here. Now we gotta go over here, if I remember. 
what I did the last time. We have a big ass balcony here. And if you look down, fucking lot of test tubes with mutants. That thing doesn't have legs, it looks like. Like the human trials. Yikes. And this side we have those frog things, I think. It's gonna be fun to walk down there, guys, I think. Because they're probably gonna pop out. Because fuck yields luck. <laughs> Okay, let's go on here. Woo! Missed this guy for last time. Okay, got two dead zombies here. Is there anything we can pick up here? No. But there is over here. Override key successfully generated. What if we hear? Override key removed. Override key. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Got a USB drive, guys. Which is an override drive, which is sick. Alright, I think we have a place for that, but first, let's explore this, I didn't do this in the last in the first recording, but let's explore in here, <laughs> don't wake up, don't wake up, this does not seem safe, oh hello, what do you want, shock into the face bitch? One shot, one kill. We got first aid spray, fuck yeah. And I can click on this. Isaac Graves Diary, all right. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch for my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight, it is 2020 because the lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately, immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There's, there's, there was this guy they try, they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my whole wife and daughters into this. I just, I need, I just need to do my job, do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be a testament that I. Uh, I do have a conscience uh, and that I have learned my lesson. Yeah, you should not join these guys. Oh shit! Get fucked. Okay, that zombie we walked by was indeed alive. What's in here? I don't know, warning something, you British signs. Okay, I think we got everything we needed from this particular area. So let's go down to the door, which we have the override key for now, I think. Heck yeah. And behind that door, I have not seen what's happening in there, so... But first, let's save. Alright, guys. Let's see here. Use. Oh, it's doing stuff. Override complete. Override complete. Mission successful. This episode is now over, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm ending this first episode 11 back to this game off now, right now. But don't worry, I will record a new episode quite tight closely to this one. So there will be more episodes coming out. Now, I made them a little bit smaller, like 20 minutes or something. I think there's a better time frame for this game. So, thank you guys for watching episode 11. I know it's been a long time since this game was on my channel, but it's back now. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Do be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out the next episode. And, of course, like the video to help the algorithm to make more people find out my channel and this video. <gasps> I lost my breath. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching. I am Last Man Standing, and I'm out. Bye!